fun. Hello everyone. Uh, well, today we're gonna um, cook shepherd pie. Uh, it is one of my favorite dishes. It's super easy to uh, cook and you probably have everything in your fridge already. Maybe not, but you can shop any, anytime. And uh, history of shepherd pie is actually really interesting. As I said, you have everything in your fridge. They, it was a leftover food back in the 19th century in Ireland and UK. So people were cooking some roast or potatoes and then during the week, okay, so we have some leftovers, we put together, oven and it's ready. So let's start it. So um, first of all, we're gonna make a meat mixture for our shepherd pie. Shepherd pie is basically three stages, uh, meat mixture, uh, mashed potato, and then we're gonna bake it all together. So let's start with the meat mixture. Well, let's start with the meat mixture and what you need for the meat mixture. You will first of all need a big um, uh, frying pan. So it's, uh, it's all there, I will show you later. Uh, you will need some olive oil, um, approximately two tablespoons, um, ground beef. You can find lamb, beef, lamb uh, ground lamb, just uh, if you want a real Irish shepherd pie. Uh, there's some um, uh, chopped onions, approximately one cup. Uh, spices like uh, two tablespoons of thyme, one tablespoon of rosemary, two tablespoons of uh, parsley, some salt and pepper, uh, garlic, two cloves approximately. This unpronounceable sauce, which is the Paris, I'm not gonna try to do that, but you probably know what is that. Uh, some tomato sauce, I will put approximately two tablespoons of um, tomato sauce, flour, two tablespoons, everything is two tablespoons, um, one cup of frozen um, carrot and peas, one third of cup of um, uh, corn and chicken broth. I use chicken broth because I like it. You can use any of them, vegetables or chicken as I'm using right now. Or so let's get this started. So, first start, we need a big pan. So everything make sure you're gonna fit in. And we need uh, olive oil, approximately two tablespoons. So we can put it here, two tablespoons. And we're gonna start it on approximately medium heat. It's all good. And we'll wait until it's ready. So uh, our skillet is uh, is warm warm up. So we can what we first do um, get out of onions and put it on our skillet. Try it a little bit. I think I have a little bit too high. This way. So I would say about two minutes. The time for your onions will also depend on how tiny you chop your onions. So I didn't chop it really tiny, it took a little bit more than that, probably four minutes or something like that. But when it's just like already um, um, Gosto da dupla fez também. Vem, vem, vem. Olha pro cinema. Vem, vem. Quarta pra ficar bem. Muito bom, muito bem. Na beira da lua. Foram ensaiar para começar. Tico, tico no fubá. A voz do passo era muito de zacar. Tudo de cena com o ganso era mato. Mas eu gostei do final. Now, we're gonna put some old spices we had before. 
both her rosemary, mix it together, parsley, mix it together, uh, fine, mix it all together, and I said you have to mix it very well together because less crumbs, tastier it is. Then we're gonna have and put a garlic. Garlic is here. in 19th century Irish and British people. So for now, I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes on a wall and uh, just cover it for a little bit. I usually like to check it, so like in this five minutes if you want some uh, a little bit steering, so that's good. Uh, but about approximately five minutes and it's going to be ready. Thank you very much. You are on the stage two. Thank you for watching. Uh, so for stage number two, we're making mashed potatoes. You will need two russet potatoes, two large russet potatoes. You can uh, buy mushing potatoes. I think you can buy like cold mushing potatoes in a store. You also will need uh, half and half milk. I used uh, coconut milk. It's also really delicious and that's what I like to do. Uh, three, uh, three, uh, a third of the cup, sorry. And um, cheese. Uh, you can use any cheese you'd like. I use just Mexican. Uh, it's gonna melt in the mashed potato, which is like absolutely fine. Garlic powder, uh, half of teaspoon, and also butter. Eight eight tablespoons, sorry, eight tablespoons of uh, butter and this too. 
So we're gonna boil our potatoes. Uh, for that, we need um, medium-sized pan with water. I recommend to put everything together right away. Don't wait when it's started to boil. And um, depends on how big you will um, cut your potatoes, but potatoes should be um, really, really soft for mashed potato. I will show you later. While your potatoes are um, cooking, uh, preheat your oven to 400 Fahrenheit or 204 Celsius. So our potatoes are almost ready. We will check it out right now. So I'm gonna open it. And I probably will do it in a pan, but I want to just show you if you can see right here. So it's really, really soft. Really, really soft. This is what we need. So it's really soft. Put it back together. And we're going to mash it now. So we're gonna drain, gonna drain some water out of there. I would leave a little bit of water usually. Potatoes. And then what we're gonna do all ingredients I showed before. We're gonna put in Also, we will need salt. So like pepper. And now we're gonna mash it. Gostou da dupla fez também. Quen, quen, quen. Olha pro cisne e disse assim: Vem, vem, que o quarto tu ficará bem. Tudo bom, muito bem. Na vera da lua, coa. Foram ensaiar para começar. O tico tico no fubá. Well, our third stage, uh, congratulations, almost done. Uh, so what we're gonna do, first of all, we prepare our meat mixture, filling, and then we made uh, mashed potatoes right here. Now we're gonna put everything together in a dish uh, 9 to 9 inches or 7 to 11 inches. So you will have to find something of all this, so that's also the comment. And let's begin! <laughs> So right now our uh, oven is uh, 204 degrees or 400 Fahrenheit. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put our pie, cottage pie or shepherd pie in right here and leave it for 25 or 30 minutes. We'll check in 25 minutes. Oh well. Our shepherd pie is done. We're gonna look at it. Looks really nice. And Cantando alegremente, quen, quen, 
Quando o marreco sorridente pediu Pra entrar também no samba, no samba, no samba Ai, eu danço Gostou da dança e fez também quen, quen, quen. Olhou pro cílio e disse assim Vem, vem, que o quarto é tu ficará bem Muito bom, 